We have a 1999 vintage Fleetwood Discovery 37V. And when we got it, I thought, man, you know, there's got to be a way to get better Wi-Fi in the coach. Obviously, this is an older coach, so it's not built for that. Uh, so I started looking online, looking at things like the Wi-Fi Ranger or the Bear Wi-Fi Extender, some of those kind of things. And, and I thought, man, I could mount those to the satellite dish that's up on the roof. We don't use it. And so that would be a way that I could get the, the, the extender or the, or the antenna up higher. But then I got to thinking I could probably use the actual dish itself to be a really good Wi-Fi collector if I could just get an antenna up there. And so began this adventure of modifying my satellite dish to become a Wi-Fi antenna. And the results were really impressive. So I wanted to share those with you guys. All right, so I've taken the LNB off or the low noise blocker off of the satellite dish on the top of the RV. And uh, what I did was I pried off the cap, this plastic cap on the end, and then I opened up and I took the plastic pieces, the plastic shroud, off of the side of the metal part of the LNB. And uh, then I took a screwdriver and I scraped off all of the all of the sealant that was around this back part, which then exposed the circuit board that was inside here. With the cap off, I took a screwdriver and ran it down through there and hit it a couple times after taking the screws out of that circuit board, and the circuit board just kind of popped out. So first, take the screws out, then screwdriver down, hit it a couple times, and the and the the circuit board inside of here will come out. And all it does is it just leaves you with this shell. And so what we're going to do then is we take the USB antenna that you would put in the USB port of your computer and you're going to drill a hole in this cap and slide, slide it right down through there and through the hole in the cap and then the, the, the inside part of the USB connector fits nicely back in here. With this particular LNB, uh, we're going to have to do a little bit of modification to this LNB shell so that the USB extension cord can actually plug into the USB antenna and see like right here you can see that there's a there's a piece of this here that we're going to have to get rid of so what I've done is I have taken my fine multi-tool with a plunge cut and I have already cut out the sides and now I'm cutting in from the side here and in from the side here uh, once that's gone the wireless USB antenna will be able to fit right there and then the uh, extension will be able to come out. We'll waterproof it up real good with some uh, with some sealant and then we'll mount this on the satellite dish on the roof of the RV. Then what we can do is we can take the internal uh, mechanism that turns and raises the satellite dish and actually point it directly at a Wi-Fi broadcast area of a campground and instead of getting one bar or one and a half bars or two bars on my Wi-Fi, I should be able to get full signal. I can't do anything about speed, but I can get signal uh, there and then bring that extension inside to the RV, plug that into my laptop and make my laptop a hotspot for all of our wireless devices. So with that piece gone now, you can kind of see what's going to happen. This antenna will slide through the, ne the neck of the LNB and come, come out the end. Now this piece fits in here, and then we'll put the cover on like so, and then we'll put some sealant all the way around here so that all that is nice and waterproof, and then we'll run this up on the roof of the RV and thread this down inside and then that'll put this antenna receiving signal bounced off of the satellite dish itself into this little area which should extend the range of the Wi-Fi by a whole lot.
All right, so what we've done so far is put the plastic cover back over the housing, and I've also taken some uh, silicone, some PVC silicone, and, and sealed everything up. I've also put the plastic housing on. I've zip tied that closed, so that'll that'll give another level of uh, weather protection. And uh, now we'll take this up and put it on the satellite dish on the roof. Okay, so up here on the roof, first thing we're going to do is install this back onto here, and then we'll route the USB cable around the existing route wire routing, and then in through this access port hatch. And then what we'll do is we will tie the end of that USB cable onto the end of this coax and we'll pull it back to the front where the laptop will go so that we can plug that in and then use the laptop to make the wireless hotspot for the rig. And so see how that looks now. Okay, so now that we've got the antenna, or the satellite dish, pointed at our known Wi-Fi source, what we'll do now is the other end of that antenna's USB cable, we will plug into our laptop. Okay, so once your USB antenna is hooked into your laptop, uh, the first thing to do is to disable your internal Wi-Fi antenna of your laptop and enable the Wi-Fi antenna that's up on the satellite dish. That will then let your laptop uh, be receiving the Wi-Fi from the dish and should give you plenty of of reception signal. Now it doesn't do anything about bandwidth, uh, but that's that's kind of the end of the process. Now, if your laptop is able to uh, to uh, be a mobile hotspot itself, then what you can do is turn that on on your laptop, and then your laptop becomes a a mobile hotspot, and the the uh, devices in your coach you can connect to that, and then you'll have Wi-Fi inside the coach to everything your your iPad, your iPhone, your iPod, your uh, your laptop other laptops in the coach one thing that's real interesting is that now now that we have this we can actually stream movies uh, to our Roku that is connected to my Wi-Fi hotspot on my laptop so uh, the the other important thing to do is to make sure that uh, that when you get into a campground that it's actually pointed directly at the Wi-Fi you sometimes may have to walk around the campground to find the Wi-Fi transmitter and then point it at it but this has just been a great uh, great modification for us to get great Wi-Fi uh, where previous camp previously when we've been to the same campground we can't get anything uh, so this is just a, a great modification I hope this helped you if you have any questions let me know